Hello everybody, it's Mr Veal again and I'm the head teacher of Atwood Primary Academy which is situated in Sandstead in South Croydon and today is Monday the 6th of July 2020. If you managed to watch our videos on YouTube that I uploaded uh, on Friday you will have noticed that uh, I was going to go through the class allocations today and here is that very same video and it's the first time we've ever done this uh, and it will be um, after mums and dads have received the letter, which I think Mrs Dobson sent out today, so uh, this one's really for children, just from me as head teacher, letting you know, children, who your new class teacher is going to be. And then uh, towards the end of the video, I'm just going to let you know what's happening in terms of our transition days our transition sessions for this year. So, my goodness, wasn't this year, we're currently in, so that would have been academic year 2019, 2020, wasn't that a strange year? We're nearly coming to the end of it. I think we've got two more, four weeks of uh, this summer term left. And then, like I've said before, the government would like all children to come back on the oh well the first of september second of september so i cannot wait to see you all and of course we've been planning who your teacher's going to be so without further ado i'm just going to go through uh, the teachers and the class allocations so in nursery mr spriggs is going to be our new nursery teacher in reception so in yellow class it's going to be mrs doherty and she's going to be teaching on Monday, Wednesdays, Thursdays and Fridays. And then on Tuesdays in yellow class, it's going to be Mrs. Standing. Moving on to reception red class now, it's going to be Miss Tomei. And she's going to be teaching on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. And then Mrs. Mitchell is going to be teaching in red class on Thursdays and Fridays. OK, moving on now. So in year one, blue class is going to be taught by Miss Dalton. And so if you were in yellow class this year, you will be going into blue class with Miss Dalton. Moving on to year one and violet class. So Mrs. McQuinney is going to be violet class's teacher and she's going to be working Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. And then on Fridays in Violet class, it's going to be Mrs. Bowman. And so if you are in red class, you will be going into Violet class. OK, let's have a look at year two now. So in green class, year two, it's going to be Miss Hardy. And in orange class, we have a wonderful new teacher called Miss Dunn. So welcome to Miss Dunn. And so... If you were in violet class this year, you will be going into green class. And if you were in blue class, you will be going into orange class. And now moving on to year three. So we've got three S, so that's going to be Miss Skelly's class. And we've got three B, and that's going to be Mrs. Smith's class. And if you were in green, this year you'll be going into 3S, and if you are in orange, you're going to go into 3B. Let's have a look at year 4 now. So we've got 4M, Miss Pickering, and 4P, Miss Poppy. And so if you are in 3S this year, you'll be going into 4M with Miss Pickering. And if you are in 3W this year, you'll be going into 4P with Miss Poppy. Now, let's look at year 5. 5SB. So 5SB is going to be taught by Mrs. Sodia on Mondays and Tuesdays and Mrs. Bayliss on Wednesday, Thursday and Fridays. And 5S will be taught by Mr. Simons. So this year, if you are in 4M, you will be going into 5SB. And if you are in 4P, you will be going into 5S. And then year 6. So we've got 6D and that's going to be Mr. Dench. Monday, Tuesday, Thursday and Friday, and then Mrs. Gambia on Wednesday. And then 6I is going to be Miss Ingram. And so if you were in 5RB this year, you'll be going into 6D. And if you're in 5I, you'll be going to 6I. 
So there are our class allocations. Now we know totally that some of you have been in school for, well, as a, as a key worker group or uh, um, coming in uh, since pretty much March. And so uh, although it's been slightly different, your experience in school, you've kind of kept along coming into school pretty much most weeks and even through some of the holidays. And I know for some of you, you have uh, come back for a shorter period of time and then there's some children who've been in for a slightly longer period of time. So we know there's a lot of uh, differences in uh, experience in terms of coming into school. But we also know that a lot of you have not been able to come into school and you've done all of your learning at home. And so it's really important that we get a, a very good, what we call a transition. So we get all of the children and the staff prepared to uh, welcome you back and get you settled in as quick as possible back into Atwood for September. And so just very briefly, uh, we're going to have some sessions uh, starting this Wednesday where you can come in in half class sizes in alphabetical uh, grouping, so the first half of the alphabet first, followed by the second half of the alphabet second, where you can come in and meet your new teacher. So that is going to be really, really important. Uh, and for those children who haven't been in for an awfully long time, I'm really hoping that you will find this uh, both a fun and worthwhile activity just to familiarize yourself again with school and see some very friendly faces and just get you settled back in so there's lots to look forward to now i just wanted to say some other things before i sign off today uh, let's have a look down here yes well okay so with other members of staff so I am going to continue to be head teacher uh, for next year and Mrs Gambia is going to continue to be our deputy head teacher and Mrs Standing is going to be continuing to be our assistant head teacher and she will be in charge of um, early years foundation stage and key stage one and Mr Dench is going to continue to be one of our other assistant head teachers, and he's going to be in charge of key stage two. And then finally, Mrs. Townsend is going to continue to be our inclusion manager. So there are many, many friendly faces for you to look forward to getting to know again. Uh, and also, I cannot wait to see you all in September. And this week and next week, we'll be very busy planning how that's going to look for you all, because we want to keep you both safe and we want to get you back to your learning within your classroom so you can be with your friends again. I'm hoping that this has been useful to you and I'll catch you soon. Take care, everybody. Bye.